Hi, ready to work out? So all you need for this workout is a set of free weights, a ball, a smaller ball if you have one, like this, a loop, and if you have a step or you can grab a staircase in your home, um, that would be it. We're gonna start off with an alternating reverse lunge. So you're gonna hold weights at your side and you're gonna take a step back and lower down and then step up. The goal is to be able to do 15 on each side. And you want your knee to be right on top of your ankle as you lunge back. Great. Next, you're gonna do a set of push-ups. You can do them from your knees or your toes. You're gonna to take your hands wider than your shoulders, and then you're gonna lower yourself to the ground, and then up. The lower you go towards the ground, the harder it's gonna be. You wanna inhale as you go down, and exhale as you come up. That's 10, 12, 14, 15. So you can do, try to do 15 up to 20, 25. The goal is to feel the fatigue each time you do it. Okay, next we're coming up and we're gonna do a squat with just your arms down at your side. So you're gonna just drop your hips straight back down and squeeze up. You wanna squeeze your glutes and your abs. From the back, it just looks like you're sitting back for a chair and then you're coming up. Try to keep your shoulders back. Fifteen, great. Next, what we're gonna do is a one-arm row with a tricep kickback and a stride stance. If you don't have a bench, you can just use your own body. So one foot forward, one foot back. Place your forearm down on your leg. You're gonna squeeze your shoulder blade back as your arm comes up and then kick that arm back. So you're working your shoulder blade, your back, and then your tricep. Squeeze that shoulder blade up. 10, okay, try to go for 15. One more for 15, good. And then the other side, same thing. Bring your elbow down, arm out, pull up. Squeeze your shoulder blade together or back, and then kick your forearm back, working your tricep.
12, 13, 14, and 15. Great job. Okay, so next we're gonna do um, alternating side squats, actually. We don't need weights for this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna step out, squat down, step to center, out, squat down, step to center, out, down, and center. And you're just alternating 15 times with each leg stepping out. So lots of squats here. If you wanted to make this harder, you could put the little loop around your ankles and do that. I'll show you what that looks like. You've got your loop. This is a good. In, out, down, up, together. Really a good outer thigh leg workout. You feel the resistance. But if you don't have the loop, you don't have to do it. So you can just keep going here. Down, good. Good, so just like before, you want your hips to drop back like you're sitting in a chair. So about 15 on each side, each direction. And then next, we're gonna do a bicep curl with a shoulder press. So you wanna pick up your free weights, hold them in a hammer curl style. So that means palms facing your body, shoulders are back, chest lifted, feet shoulder width apart. You're gonna curl your forearms up and then press up overhead and bring it down, good. Curl and press, curl and press. So you wanna to try to do 15. I always say try because your goal is fatigue. So if you feel really fatigued and you feel like you can't do the form, and you're at 12, then you're done, right? And you'll get stronger each time you do it. Okay, let's do two more here. Up. And up, great job. Okay. Now this next one is a step up. So if you have a step in your house, so if you have a staircase, you can do it off the bottom step. If you had and like an aerobic step bench, you could do that, but you don't need to go out and buy that. Um, I have a BOSU, so I'm gonna put the BOSU there and I'm gonna use that as my step. So I'm gonna anchor one foot into the BOSU and I'm just gonna step up and down. So again, the BOSU is actually a really challenging workout because it's an uneven surface, but if you don't have it, don't worry about it. Just grab a step in your house. And you're gonna just keep that one leg stationary on the step as you bring your other knee in and out. And we're going to do 15 on each side. Fourteen, fifteen, good. And then the other side, up and down. Wow. 
12, 13, 14, and 15. Great job. Okay, the next one I'm gonna have you do is a chest press, and you can do this either lying on the ground or if you had a ball, you can use the ball and your body kind of as a bench. So you would go out and lie down so your head and shoulders are supported on the ball. And then you're gonna press your arms up and together and then down to a 90 degree bend and up. And you're keeping your hips elevated. So if I back up, you can see a little bit more. My head and shoulders are on the ball. My knees are at a 90 degree bend and I'm pressing up and together. Just like that. I want to exhale on the exertion. So as you're pushing up, exhale, inhale. all the way up. Okay, awesome job. Okay, the next exercise is actually a step touch side to side with a thera loop. So if you have that, that's great. If you don't, you can kind of just stand, balance yourself on something. I'm using my dresser here in my bedroom and just bring your leg out and in if you didn't have the loop. If you have the loop, put it around your ankles and you're just gonna go straight legs back and forth. Feeling the burn here on the outside your hips and your glutes. Good, so keep going till you feel it. Hopefully you feel it at 15. Okay, and then next we're gonna do dips. So for dips, you can grab a chair and use a chair. You can use the edge of your bed. You can use a coffee table, a bench if you had one, wherever you have something that's a flat, stable surface. So here you're gonna put your palms of your hand on the edge of the bench, edge of the bench, keep your chest up really tall. You're gonna lower down, and then you're gonna push straight up. Now, if you wanna make it harder, you take your legs out straighter, or you can even do one leg in the air. For somebody just starting, or this is challenging enough, you wanna keep your right form, just keep both feet firmly planted on the ground. And good, those are dips. Okay, next, we're gonna do some core work. So I'm gonna have you grab that exercise ball if you have it. If you don't have that exercise ball, don't worry, just go down to the ground. I'm gonna have you walk out, place your hands behind your head. The ball is in the small of your back, middle to small of your back, and your eyes are looking straight ahead. Imagine as if you can hold an apple or an orange between your chin and your chest, and you're just curling up here. And for these, you wanna feel the fatigue in your stomach, you don't want to be pulling on your neck or your head. So my hands are just kind of positioned here. They're not pulling on anything. Okay, that's 20. I'm going to go to 25. And 25. Good. Next, we're gonna work your external rotators of your shoulders. This is a great exercise. You can grab your 
loop if you have it. If you don't have a loop, but you have a tubing, you can also do the tubing. You would just hold your palms facing up with your elbows tucked in at your side. The loop is a little bit easier where you just grab the sides of the loop, shoulders are back and down, knees are bent, pelvis neutral, and you're just gonna bring one hand forearm out to the side. And you're working the external part of your rotator. So that's the outside of the shoulder here. Great muscle to strengthen because when people get shoulder injuries, they often injure their rotator cuff. So you wanna keep these muscles, ligaments and tendons really strong. Keep your elbows in. Good, so 15 each side. You can do the other side, same thing. You might find that one arm is stronger than the other. That's not that abnormal. That's 10, 11, you'll feel the burn, 12, 13, 14, and 15, great. Okay, going into some more core work, I'm gonna have you do a plank on your elbows and your toes. So you're gonna go down and bring your body in a straight line. I like to do them for my elbows because I feel like I'm more in a straight line. It's easier on your wrists too than doing them up on your hands. So here, you wanna hold it as long as you can. And as you get stronger, you'll be able to hold it longer. You wanna draw your belly button up towards your spine. Keep breathing. When you get tired, you can drop your knees down towards the ground, take a break. Good. Hold it as long as you possibly can. If you can go a minute, fabulous. If you can go longer than a minute, fabulous. It's totally up to your level of ability. Next, we're gonna do just a basic mountain climber. So here, you're gonna be on your hands at your shoulder level, meaning you want your wrist right underneath your shoulder. If that hurts your wrists in any way, you can actually use your free weights and put them down. And that way your wrists are kept in a neutral position. So you're gonna hold them there, legs out straight, body in a straight line, and you're just gonna bring one knee in and then the other. You can do it really slow and controlled if this seems really easy to you, you can speed it up, but you don't need to. You wanna to try to do 15 on each side. Good, and down. Okay, my next one of my favorite exercises to do because it's great for your back and your posture. And after doing a plank and mountain climber, it's good to kind of also stretch out your back. So this is a bird dog. You're on your hands and knees. You lift your left arm and your right leg out and you bring it in and kick it back out. And you want that supporting arm to be right underneath your shoulder. Fourteen, fourteen, fifteen. Reach in in each direction through your fingers and your toes. Good. We'll go to the other side. and 15 great okay so next we're going to take it down to the ground 
and we're gonna do a bridge. If you have a smaller ball, this is kind of a great added bonus, but if you don't, don't worry, you can use a pillow or something like that. Um, and I'm gonna just have, I'm gonna put this between my knees to allow me to get a little bit more of an inner thigh workout as well. So I'm on my back, I'm putting the ball between my knees, my upper body is relaxed on the floor, and I'm just gonna roll my hips up and then slowly bring it down. Roll them up and slowly bring it down. Great, so here you're working your abs, your hips, your glutes, slowly up and then down. You want to hold it up there. You can get a little extra, do some ball squeezes. Five, four, three, two, one, and slowly bring it down. Great. So the next exercise we're going to do is a leg hinge. So if you had this ball, you can put the ball underneath your hips and rest your hands at the ground and bring your legs up into tabletop here. So tabletop is a 90 degree bend in your knees. And you're going to slowly extend one leg down, bring it up, and the other leg down. And just alternate legs. You want your stomach to do the work here. And keep your back pressed into that ball. Great. So you're just alternating. If this seems too easy, you can definitely make it harder by extending your leg a little bit straighter. Okay, right here, you start right here. That's totally fine. Okay. Great, that's the leg hinge. And then the last exercise I'm gonna have you do is a one leg bridge. So you're gonna take one leg up into the air, head and shoulders are relaxed on the ground, and you're gonna lift your hips up and bring it down. So if you can, put the focus all in your abs, your hips, and your glutes. Sometimes that hamstring on the leg that's on the ground wants to overtake this exercise. So try to keep it in your core. And try to get up and do 15 if you can, 15 ups and downs. Perfect. Okay, and then the other side, leg up. And you're going to press up and down. Nine, ten. Keep it in your core. Try to do five more. Two and one more. Great. And you can roll to your side and push yourself up. So that is a full body workout using minimal equipment. You don't even have to use any equipment if you didn't have it. So for example, if you didn't have the free weights, you could hold cans of soup or something like that. But if you have the free weights, that's a great added benefit. The loop, the ball, a step, and that's all you would need for that whole workout. So hope you had a good workout. You can do, so that was one set of every exercise, aiming to do 15 repetitions. If you have more time, great to do a second set and um, do it like a circuit, once all the way through and then a second time all the way through if you want to follow along with the video. So have a great day.